Hello and welcome to the next tutorial series. I've been planning this for a while um, because I have an OB6, I also have a Prophet 6, and I really love this thing the more I learn about it. Um, at first it was kind of like strange to get into because the OB6 was just so immediate. Um, you know, it sounded like, oh, that's a really good poly saw, you know. Um, this has a lot more character to it and the oscillators are completely different, the filters are completely different, even though it's sort of in the same box. Um, so I wanted to kind of go over this thing um, so we could, you know, maybe do it some justice. Uh, so, um, you know, great sounds come out of this. some other good ones here. some drum sound. Um, so I've, I've actually kind of used that a little bit um, in film scores. Um, so anyway, you know, um, it does a lot of things um, without really having to mess around with it a lot. Um, but we, we're going to get like into the weeds on it. Um, basically, the layout is kind of similar to the OB6, except that everything under the hood is kind of different. Um, let me go into manual mode here. Okay, so important keystrokes. Hold preset, press right. It puts it in an initialized patch. Um, so you're just hearing the oscillator as a saw. Um, so this goes from a triangle to pulse and you can control the pulse width here you can even control how much out of tuneness <laughs> you get out of the oscillators because these are analog um, oscillator 2 goes from you know same idea it goes from a triangle to a pulse and same thing we control the pulse here uh, oscillator 2 also has a low frequency mode um, and an assignable keyboard mode. Um, so you could have a low frequency oscillator that responds to keys uh, in terms of how high you're playing. So the oscillator would speed up as you play higher. Um, you can, you know, retune these. We have a sub oscillator. We have a noise oscillator. Um, all very useful stuff. We have both a high pass and a low pass filter that can be um, key tracked um, and a filter envelope. So it's interesting because you technically can make these cross each other if you try. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> let's start with just low pass. Okay. And if we give it enough decay. Well, now. What you doing to me? Boy? There we go. Okay, other way. Okay, now it'll do what I want. <laughs> Um, so, you know, the idea is that we have two oscillators that can shape the sound. It can do a lot of things. We have an, ampli uh, an amplifier envelope, so that's your volume. We have a dedicated LFO here that can be assigned via push button. We have cross modulation um, that works off of oscillator two. And, you know, you can get some pretty gnarly sounds by, you know, audio rate modulating oscillator one's pitch. Um, we have an aftertouch control. We control our pan spread. That's, you know, when I'm playing those big patches and you're hearing notes come out all over the place, it's because of the pan spread. 
we have a dedicated distortion amount um, and then you know this is its own knob as opposed to the ob6 where it's a little more um, hidden and we have a great effect section uh, so that's sort of your layout built in arpeggiator everything can be synced to a daw through midi um, so we can sync our clocks all that good stuff um, and that's about it uh, so we're going to go into the next video talk about oscillators and then we'll go to the filter